and firm, unchanging faith that you are spirit of them both, that you are spirit of them both. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we offer our prayers and petitions to God most especially for peace in our hearts, in our families, in our country, in the church, and in the world. We pray for all those who have gone away from the practice of the faith in reparation of our sins, for the conversion of all sinners and those living in error, for all the vulnerable, the unborn, the elderly, the dying, the disabled, and all those who are sick particularly those suffering with coronavirus, for their healing, for the protection of doctors, nurses, healthcare practitioners, those in the front lines of our present crisis, and for priests and religious answering the call of the sick, for the eternal rest of the souls of the faithful departed, the souls in purgatory, and those who have no one praying for them. And in a special way we pray for the people we promise to pray for in particular, and our own intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, our Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I, I believe, believe in, in the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, the Holy Catholic Church, Church the, the communion of saints, saints the, forgiveness the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life, life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. For the enemies of the church and the persecuted Christians around the world, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, and blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my, oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our, our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Let us now offer and meditate on the luminous mysteries of our Savior. The first luminous mystery is the baptism of our Lord Jesus in the Jordan. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our <coughs> trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my, my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery is the wedding feast at Cana. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins, sins save, save us from, from the fires of hell, hell and lead all, all souls to heaven, heaven especially those in most need, need of thy mercy. mercy. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my, my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save, save us from, from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. mercy. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Holy Eucharist of the Last Supper, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins. sins. Save, Save us from, from the fires of hell, hell and lead all souls to heaven, heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most O gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, Show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Alleluia. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries and the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the Holy Father and the bishops in the hierarchy, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer to the Blessed Virgin Mary for an end to the pandemic. O Mary, Mary you, you shine, shine continuously, continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross united with Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of the Roman people, know what we need, and we trust that you will provide for those needs, so that as at Cana of Galilee, joy and celebration may return after this moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father, and, and to, to do, do what, what Jesus, Jesus tells us. He who took our suffering upon himself and burdened himself with our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of resurrection. Amen. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas. We who are put to the test and deliver us from every danger. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Saint, Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who roam throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls, Amen. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. All you holy angels and saints of God, pray for us. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and, and may the, the souls of the faithfully departed, departed through the, the mercy of God, God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Remember, O most, most gracious Virgin Mary, Mary that never was it known. known that any one who fled to thy protection, implore thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our Mother. To thee we come, before thee we stand, 
sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. The seventh day of our novena to the Holy Spirit. Heal our wounds, our strength renews. On our dryness pour thy dew. Wash the stains of guilt away. The Gift of Counsel The gift of counsel endows the soul with supernatural prudence, enabling it to judge promptly and rightly what must be done, especially in difficult circumstances. Counsel applies the principles furnished by knowledge and understanding to the innumerable concrete cases that confront us in the course of our daily duty as parents, teachers, public servants, and Christian citizens. Counsel is supernatural common sense, a priceless treasure in the quest of salvation. Above all these things, Pray to the Most High that He may direct thy way in truth. Let us pray. Come, Come O Spirit, Spirit, of Spirit of Counsel, help and guide me in all my ways, that I may always do thy holy will. Incline my heart to that which is good, turn it away from all that is evil, and direct me by the straight path of thy commandments to that goal of eternal life for which I long. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Consecration to the Holy Spirit. On, On my, my knees, knees I bend, the gr the, but before, before the, the great, great multitude of, of heavenly, heavenly witnesses, witnesses offer, offer myself, soul, and body, to you, to you eternal, eternal Spirit, Spirit of God, of God. I adore, I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring kindness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray that all my heart 
to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness, holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart. I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, to keep me in your grace, that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant heareth. Amen. Prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. O Lord Jesus Christ, who, before ascending into heaven, did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples. Deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding, to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth, the spirit of counsel, that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude, that I may bear my cross with you, and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation, the spirit of knowledge, that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety, that I may find in the service of God, sweet and amiable, and the spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease Him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples, and animate me in all things with your Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray Entrance Antiphon. With boldness, let us approach the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace as a timely help. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, 
and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with spiritual gifts, that he may give us a mind pleasing to you and graciously conform us to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A number of days after Paul had arrived in Jerusalem, some Jews from Asia stirred up the crowd against Paul as he was leaving the temple. While they were trying to kill Paul, word came to the tribune of the cohort that all Jerusalem was in an uproar. Immediately he took some soldiers and arrested Paul. Since the tribune wanted to know, find out what Paul was being accused of by the Jews, he released him the next day and ordered the chief priests and the entire council to meet. The tribune brought Paul down and had him stand before them. When Paul noticed that some were Sadducees and others were Pharisees, he called out in the council, Brothers, I am a Pharisee a son of Pharisees. I am on trial concerning the hope of the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, dissension began between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the assembly was divided. The Sadducees say there is no resurrection or angel or spirit, but the Pharisees acknowledge all three. Then a great clamor arose and certain scribes of the Pharisees' group stood up and contended, We find nothing wrong with this man. What if a spirit or an angel has spoken to him? When the dissension became, became violent, the tribune, fearing that they would tear Paul to pieces, ordered the soldiers to go down, take him by force, and bring him into the barracks. That night the Lord stood near him and said, Keep up your courage, for just as you have testified for me in Jerusalem, so you must bear witness also in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Protect me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I keep the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad, and my soul rejoices. My body also rests secure. For you do not give me up to Sheol, or let m your faithful one see the pit. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. In your right hand are pleasures forevermore. 
Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. From the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. When the hour had come for him to pass from this world to the Father, Jesus looked up to heaven and said, I ask not only on behalf of these, but also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word that they may all be one. As you, Father, are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given them, so that they may be one as we are one. I in them, and you in me, that they may become completely one, so that the world may know that you have sent me, and have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I desire that those also whom you have given me may be with me where I am, to see my glory which you have given me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world does not know you, but I know you. And these know that you have sent me. I made your name known to them, and I will make it known, so that the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, as we continue to read on the priestly prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ, found in the 17th chapter of St. John's Gospel, very clearly our Lord expressed that he desire that those whom God the Father has given him may be where he is. Meaning that our Lord desires our joy, our peace in eternal life. As we reflect upon our lives, brothers and sisters, we know for sure that those things that keep us away from God's grace does not bring us joy and peace. When we become unfaithful to the grace of God and His love for us, deep inside, we know there's something wrong. Deep inside, the spirit of truth convicts us 
and he wants us to conquer our weaknesses, our sin. In Jesus Christ, God has given us hope, hope of everlasting life. Because our Lord Jesus desires that each of us, especially as we express our faith, hope and love in Him may have eternal life. Brothers and sisters in Christ, when Jesus prayed for His followers to be one with Him, He doesn't only pray that his followers may be one with him in attitude or in character, but be one with him where he is. And where the Lord is, is the kingdom where joy and everlasting peace resides. This is the invitation of Jesus Christ for every believer, for every faithful. And it is a pity, brothers and sisters in Christ, when we do not accept the invitation of the Lord. Today, brothers and sisters, in our novena to the Holy Spirit, we pray for the gift of counsel. The gift of counsel is that supernatural common sense. I like that term. Supernatural common sense. Indeed, when we have supernatural common sense, we are receptive to the spirit of truth. And we know that the voice of truth will lead us to peace, joy, and eternal happiness where our Lord invites all of us. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us continue to follow the way of the Lord. Let us pray to be one with Him, not only in character and attitude, but most of all to pray that when that appointed time come to us, that we may be one with Him in that place where eternal peace and joy resides in that eternal kingdom where the Lord desires each of us to be with Him forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us now pray for the needs of the Church and of the world. For our Holy Father, the Pope, for all bishops and all leaders in the Church, that they may lead us always to Jesus Christ, the truth of the Father's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our government leaders that they may discern the common good, especially in our time of crises, and that they may uphold human dignity in all its stages, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the intentions of Joseph Molinis, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, especially those suffering with the coronavirus, for their healing, and for the protection of doctors, nurses, healthcare practitioners, those in the front lines of our present crises, and for priests and religious answering the call of the sick, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the eternal rest of the souls of the faithful departed, the souls in purgatory, those who have no one praying for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer to God our personal prayers and petitions.
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for vocations and families, we pray. Heavenly Father, Lord of the harvest, we earnestly ask you to bless our diocese and our world with many priests and religious who will love you fervently and gladly and courageously spend their lives in service to your Son's Church under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Bless our families and our children and choose from our homes and our parishes those whom you desire for this holy work. You commanded your angels to guard us in all our ways. Deign to send Archangel Michael, Prince of the Heavenly Host, to defend our families and our church from Satan and all his powers of evil. We ask this through the intercession of our Blessed Virgin Mary, and in the name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather the people to yourself so that 
from the rising of the sun to its setting of your sacrifice, may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, I tell you the truth, it is for your good that I go, for if I do not go away, the paraclete will not come to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be.
For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer the following prayer. My, My Jesus, Jesus, I believe, I believe that, that you are in the Blessed, blessed Sacrament. Sacrament. I love, I love you above, above all things, things and, I and I long for you in my soul. soul. Since, Since I cannot, cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and I unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they bring and restore us through our participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, Archangel, defend us in battle. battle. Be our, our safeguard, safeguard against, against the, the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits, who roam throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Regina Celi, letare, alleluia. Quia, que meruisti portare, alleluia. Resurrexi. Sicut dixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. We pray for our Mother, the Church upon earth. And bless, dearest lady, the land of our birth. Ave, ave, ave Maria, ave. Ave Maria.